Hey guys, what's up? I'm Chris, and this is the Chris Costin YouTube channel. Earlier this week, it was National Comic Book Day, and as you can tell by today, that's, that's not what today is. But I thought I'd take the time and talk about National Comic Book Day and the impact that comic books have had on my life. I love comic books. I'm a big Marvel fan, big DC fan. I love both. And today I'm going to talk about my, fa my five favorite Marvel comic books and my five favorite DC graphic novels more than comic books. Because I've, I've only mostly read graphic novels compared to comic books for DC, so that's what I'm going to talk about. So for Marvel, I'll list my top five real quick. Um, one of them is actually a graphic novel, which is cheating a little bit, but it still counts. For my Marvel comic books, the my five favorite ones is Daredevil, The Man of No Fear, Spider-Man No More, uh, Amazing Fantasy number 15, Spider-Man... Um, I forget what the issue is, but it's the one where he and the Fantastic Four make their first appearance in Marvel. That one is my, uh, let's see, one, two, three, it's my fourth favorite. And then my fifth favorite is the one with, uh, Spider-Man versus Doc Ock when they meet for the first time. And so I love all those comics. The Spider-Man ones I like more just because Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel superhero. He's always been my favorite since I was a little kid, since I can remember. Daredevil, The Man of No Fear, I read recently, mostly because of the Daredevil TV show, which I love, and if you haven't watched it on Netflix, you absolutely should. You're doing yourself a favor, go watch it. I loved it, and I really thought that Daredevil, uh, The Man of No Fear, was the perfect way to, like, introduce somebody to Daredevil, like me, who's only just watched the TV show, but I want to get more into the comics and read the comics, it's the perfect way to introduce you to Daredevil. If you get the chance to read it, it's pretty thick, but it's by uh, Frank Miller, one of the greatest comic book legends of all time, and it's really good. It's a good read. If you love the Daredevil TV show, you'll absolutely love the graphic novel for sure. For the Spider-Man ones, they're a lot older, but you can find them on the internet. I'm pretty sure if you go to the Marvel Wikipedia, you can just read the story there, but if you want to get like the page per page books, I'm sure you can find it somewhere. All of those comics are great, especially Amazing Fantasy number 15. There's a lot of similarities to it and the first Spider-Man movie with Tobey Maguire, um, and, and a little bit with Andrew Garfield's first movie, but more with the Tobey Maguire one. It was almost like a straight adaptation of that in many ways, so I highly recommend that one. For Marvel, those are my five favorites. For my DC, it's um, my number one favorite is The Death of Superman, Batman The Dark Knight Returns, Green Lantern and Blackest Night, The Killing Joke, and Watchmen. All of those are really good. They're really good graphic novels. Frank Miller's The Dark Knight Returns, I read it um, the year before Batman vs. Superman came out, because they said that that was the Batman that they based Ben Affleck's Batman off of very heavily. And I thought, okay, why not read it and check it out? And it's really good. I highly recommend it. The, the artwork, yeah, it gets some getting used to because it's very different from the traditional style of artwork. Same with uh, Frank Miller's, because this is also by Frank Miller. Same with his um, Daredevil, The Man of No Fear. The artwork is very different from the usual comic book style. But the story is really good for both. This is more of an Elseworld story as to like what a retired Batman would be like in Daredevil, The Man of No Fear isn't really an Elseworld, it's more of an origin story of like how Daredevil became Daredevil. Both are by Frank Miller, comic book legend, as I said before. They're both really good. Um, but I mostly just want to talk about this video just to celebrate how awesome comic books are and how they've influenced my life. Uh, as you can see, I love Marvel and DC. I'm a big fan of both. I'm super excited for that we, I'm super excited that we live in a time right now where we're having all these Marvel movies, all these DC movies, whether whether they're good or whether they're bad. The fact that they're happening and that there's these cinematic universe happening right before our eyes with our favorite superheroes is amazing. It's it's never happened before. Like, on this level, it has never happened before. And it's really cool because we're getting to see a lot of our favorite comic books being adapted into films. Watchmen, it's a movie. Uh, Batman and Dark Knight Returns, it's an animated movie. Spider-Man vs. Doc Ock, Spider-Man 2. You know, I, the list goes on and on. Yeah, another good example, X-Men Days of Future Past, the movie, is based off of a very short, limited X-Men comic book series. That was amazing. Daredevil, The Man of No Fear, it's now a Netflix series. Basically, I mean, it's it's almost... it's uh, Well, it's not almost page for page, but it's very, very similar to that. Comic books will never adapt fully to film. Usually with DC, they do it with animated, and even then, there's still some differences. But overall, comic books will never be page for page of the movie. And I'm glad about that, because it gives filmmakers and studios the chance to, like, put in their own interpretation and see, like, how these books inspired them and to put their own take on it, too. I think that's a great idea. But still, we're living in an amazing time with comic books, and I just want to take a chance to talk about how amazing comic books are and how much they've influenced my life, and I'm very happy to say that I'm a huge comic book fan. I love both DC and Marvel. Yes, you can love both. I know I'm very late to this, but I hope you guys had a great week, and I hope you all had a happy National Comic Book Day. Please follow me at Chris underscore Cawson on Instagram. Give this video a like and subscribe if you liked it, and if you didn't, that's okay. There's tons of other channels you can watch as well, and I hope you guys had a great day, and take care. Bye.